the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 89, 1 Samuel 4 to 7, the birth of the Mizba generation. Samuel, as a prepared leader, traveled all over the country and led the age revival movement so that all the people came to desire God wholeheartedly. First point. One person's obedience offers God's a new beginning. People are always interested and governed by numbers and sums. God, however, looks for the one person who is willing to obey. He changes history through that one person. The Bible records a few of these obedient people. One example is Noah who obeyed God in making an ark. Another example is Abraham, who God chose to bless all nations. Next is Moses, whom God used to establish a kingdom of priests. Down the line is also Samuel, who opened the Mizvah generation. And then there was Jeremiah, who obeyed in educating about God's new covenant. The ultimate one who obeyed was Jesus Christ. One person's obedience and faith can change the course of history. Second point, the Ark of Covenant was not to be used as a tool for winning wars. Before the construction of the Ark of Covenant, it was very difficult for humans to stand before God. But with the establishment of a kingdom of priests, humans were able to stand before God. People were able to offer God the five offerings for 1,500 years and become his people. But during the period of judges, the people misused the ark by taking it out to battle, believing that it will help them win. All the people cared to remember was that a few hundred years ago, the ark was carried by the priests and led by Joshua to cross the Jordan River, and also how it was at the center of the Israelite battle between the other nations. But they failed to understand that God was interested in seeing the obedience of the Israelites. Eli's two sons did not understand this and only saw the ark as a tool for them to win the battle. This led to them losing the ark to the Philistines. Third point. Finally, a new era for a kingdom of priests began, the Mizvah generation. The Mana generation became the first generation to properly study a kingdom of priests with Moses in the desert for 40 years. The next generation to embrace a kingdom of priests was the Mizvah generation, who were formed through Samuel. Samuel was raised by his mother's prayer and also by learning from Eli. Samuel got rid of the foreign idols that were present for the past 350 years and made the people repent and come back to God. Samuel passionately read the Mitzvah generation. This enabled the people to quit in their ways of acting according to their will and focus on living as a holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. There are a lot of places in the Bible called Mizbah. The Mizbah, where the Mizbah generation was born, was a borough that belonged to the tribe of Benjamin. This was the place where the Israelites gathered by the order of Samuel 
to prepare for battle against the Philistines. Here, the Israelites prayed and repented for a whole day. The Philistines broke in to put a stop to the gathering with their iron weapons. It was here that a thunderous noise struck upon them. Fourth point, the Mitzvah generation was able to experience three types of happiness in a kingdom of priests. The Mitzvah generation experienced true peace, equality, and justice during their days. Through their leader Samuel, who fully dedicated himself to a kingdom of priests, the Mitzvah generation experienced the blessings God promised and the condition of obeying God's commands. Politically, they were at peace. Samuel ruled without receiving a single donkey from the people. This was much like Moses. Financially, they were at peace as God did not send them famine or drought. They were also at peace in terms of international relations with no invasions from other nations. All these blessings became possible through the people keeping to the three annual festivals and the five offerings. As the people continually gathered three times a year, they were able to avoid internal misunderstandings or problems. Fifth point, Boaz brought the happiness in Bethlehem, and Samuel later brought happiness to the entire land. Although he lived during the year of Judges, Boaz nevertheless still kept to the laws of the kingdom of priests and managed to leave behind a truly blessed episode. 350 years later, Samuel put an end to the Dark Ages and opened a new age for the Israelites, where their lives became focused on the five offerings of the kingdom of priests. This age lasted for 40 years. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.